Hey, what is up everybody? It is me, Aditi, here from Roblox Visuals. I'm going to be showing you guys how to export UIs from Photoshop into pretty much any Roblox game session that you want to implement the UIs you purchased from us. Not even, it doesn't have to be what you purchased from us. It could be anything you designed in Photoshop. You just want to get it into Roblox. Here's how. So I'm going to be using the Snow UI set in this example here. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the files first so over here what we're just gonna do for this little tutorial is I'm gonna just import the shop UI from Photoshop and import it into Roblox studio and what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna look through here for what we need and what we don't need so here's the entire background so all right, so over here, what we're going to do is we're going to take apart this in pieces. And this is why we left all these examples as is for you guys, right? Um, over here, we're going to go ahead and find one of these sessions. So you see right here, this is just going to be one of these buy icon things. We're just going to go ahead and rasterize layer style. Check out robloxvisuals.com for the latest Roblox graphics templates. We have just added some new FPS shooter UI templates, some full simulator UI sets. Check it out and use code YT for 15% off all purchases. And merge these layers. So, bam. And I did have to redo this recording multiple times so you guys might see some copies in my files whenever I open them so what we did right there was we just copy the image open a new session BAM and then save this as a PNG and here's what I was talking about here now what we can do is just rename this something like uh, tutorial video one BAM all right next since this is done we can go ahead and delete this and now what we have left is this little selected area right here and we're just going to go ahead and rasterize layer style merge we test this out perfect exactly what we want we're just going to repeat this process for a few more parts and then we'd be heading down to roblox so same thing over here you can go ahead tv2 So since this is done, um, if you guys see, right, these are just reoccurring things. So I'm just going to go ahead and only do do it for one of them. And in Roblox Studio, actually, what we can do is just copy and paste them into different into the same area, but like just different instances. So next, what we see is this little icon right here. This is supposed to be the scroll bar. It should be like this. Next, we're going to go and do this X button. So we're just gonna ungroup these layers and then rasterize layer style, merge layers, bam. Same exact process once again. All right, now what we have is this big frame bulk part. To get this, we're just literally just gonna merge whatever's left because that's all that's left actually since I deleted it. Uh, you guys might have to sort through a little bit, but I just kind of took a shortcut. We're going to do the same thing for this too. Save it as a PNG. So now we're ready to put this frame into Roblox Studio. And how we're going to do this is you go to Starter GUI and you go to this one right here, Screen GUI. And once you do this, what you're going to want to do is insert a frame into here. You're going to want to, bam, make it as big as it is and cover the screen. Set the background transparency to one. And then what you're gonna do over here is scale, add constraint. This is a plugin I'm using. I'd recommend using this. It makes your life a lot easier when importing UIs. Next, let's include an object called image label. And so pretty much what this is, is this is just a normal image, right? You could put a decal in here or something. Since the frame, since the background of the frame is not being used, what I'd like to do is I like to use it as an image label just since it's really not doing anything. It's just there. It's more design than anything. And for this, we're just going to add the image from our folder. 
that was TV4. Bam. Poof. And if you guys were wondering what does this whole scale and constraint thing do, pretty much the entire idea of this is whenever you go into like a mobile or something, your GUIs will look like this. But whenever you use the scale value, so let me give you guys an example. Add a constraint right now. The GUIs look normal here. It's so mobile players, every single type of device can handle these sort of GUIs. It's really, really like more, if you want to give a more professional look to your game, I'd recommend using this. But for now, we're just going to delete this constraint real quick. I like to usually do it at the end. Just because um, once you add a constraint, it kind of locks the movement or the scalability. Next, inside this, what we're going to do is add another label. And this label is going to be for the whole item background thingy. Which is this. So as you guys see, it's kind of funky. Make sure to keep your naming like really clean, right? Just so once you navigate again, it'll be easier. So let's just name this um, weapons frame. We can name this selection. And looks almost as it did in Photoshop. Now we have to import these buttons. And since I told you guys we use these image frames or image labels just because it's aesthetic, these buttons are going to serve a purpose, right? So once you click buy, it's supposed to do something in game. So pretty much the scripter won't be able to script like an image label being able, an image label just being clicked and whatever will happen, right? So what we're going to actually want to do is we're going to go in this selection and import an image button. So now this is pretty much the same exact thing as a label, but it's made for players to click. So now we are going to repeat this, but for the exit button. So here, we're just going to go here. We're going to go to image button. We're going to go background transparency one. Once again, I'm going to go here and just do it for the exit button. The thing is, um, whenever you do export, you can literally tweak it to whatever you want, right? So even on Photoshop, even if you do not have any idea what you're doing on Photoshop, you're just like a solo game dev who knows one thing, but just wants to buy some UIs. Once you actually start importing, you can place this wherever. You could place it here, wherever you'd like. So what we're just going to do here is put it exactly how it was like in the Photoshop preview. Bam, here we go. Now is the final thing. Let me just go ahead and rename this close. We're going to select everything here. So let's just go ahead and select this. We're going to go to scale once add constraints on every single thing. And now, not only will this work on PC, right? As you guys see, it'll also work on mobile, iPhone X, iPads, everything, guys. This is like the key to having professional UIs. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much how to import UIs into Roblox Studio, how to get them working, how to make sure they're functional and all that. And yeah, until next time, guys, I want to let you guys know we are giving away free UI products in our shop which is which will be linked below right there's tons of product previews if you guys want to do if you guys actually want to purchase something but if you guys just want to learn how to do UI design or get some free cool looking UI assets right check out our sh shop in the link below other than that guys until next time peace